kiddingly and laughingly say, Yeshua says, get down till we get down. Uh, which kind of undercuts how, how special it is. Uh, because it is an expression of commitment to the kingship of Yeshua. Do you know that Yeshua is your king? Right? Right? Um, and simply, if we are not willing to undergo tefillah, to undergo immersion, which is a relatively minor step physically, it doesn't take much for most of us. It does in places like Israel or the Muslim countries, where if you do that, uh, you pay a very steep consequence. But for most of us, in this kind of a setting, it doesn't. Uh, so the point simply is, if we are not willing, uh, the negative, if we're not willing to honor Yeshua's demand for us to do that, how can we be expected to follow the rest of what he has to say? The much more substantive, much more serious kinds of things that require greater commitment. And so we're here as a congregation of Mishpacha to cheer everybody who is undergoing tefillah. Amen. We want to go rah rah for you guys. Uh, because you can look back at this point and say, this day was very special to me, it was very precious. Because I said to Yeshua, I'm willing to follow you. Like you did before, it's an outward expression of what takes place in the heart. And so our response is to encourage you to, to do that and to follow him unconditionally. In other words, just as you guys are going to step in the water, that you're saying to Yeshua, I'm going to follow you without question, without reservation. I want to read to you a statement that to me is real obvious, obvious as the nose in my face, uh, but for some reason, for a lot of believers, it isn't. And people say, well, you know, it was meant for the disciples back then, or maybe it was written in the wrong manuscript. The point is, whatever Yeshua says in Matthew 28 was something that the disciples acted on unquestioningly, without, without, any, without any concerns. It, it was brainless as we see that in the book of Acts, uh, that as soon as people became followers of Yeshua, they underwent tefillah, they underwent conversion, uh, immersion. And so I want to reread that, just to refresh our memories. Cohen. Hush. <coughs> I know this is some a, a verse, a part of scripture everybody has read, and heard more than once, but repetition is a good teacher, to hear it again and again. Yeshua said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, immersing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Ruach HaKodesh, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and remember I am with you always, even to the, end, to the end of the age. That's a package deal. It's a package deal. And that Yeshua's expectation is that his disciples would go, would make disciples of other people, would immerse them, and would teach them what it means to follow Yeshua. And under those circumstances, we have the right and expectation then to know that the Lord is with us always. I mean, the Lord is with us always, but we have the greater confidence as we make the commitment to follow Him and we are obedient in it. So, uh, today we have a number of people, uh, several kids, and several bigger kids. <laughs> and so, why don't we start with the younger kids, Amberly and Sophia and Zach, and uh, let's see, 
who else am I missing? That's what happens when you get old. Uh, I think kid. that's it. Come on. Me too. You too. Yeah. We'll start with, with these kids. All right, Anne-Marie, we'll start with you since you have the first letter of the alphabet. Right? Come on, honey. Come on. you tell everybody here how you accepted Yeshua into your life? I you prayed. All right. <laughs> when did you pray? Breakfast. At breakfast. <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> how old were you? You were six, and how old are you now? Seven. Seven, okay. And what did you say to the Lord? Okay, you asked that He come into your life, into your heart. Why? Because mom and dad told you? Okay, you wanted to get him into your life, and you wanted to be a believer. Okay, one more question, then I'll stop. <laughs> Why did you want to be a believer? Okay, all right, we'll take that. Then you will know that you're going to heaven, and you're going to see him. You want Amen. to see him. Okay, all right. Enough for the uh, questions. Why don't you turn around, honey, this way. And I'm going to grab your nose. And you're going to grab my hand. Okay? And then I'm going to put you down under. And say a couple things. And then I'm going to bring you up again. Okay? And do we have a, do we have a blanket? Uh, I'll make me a towel. Okay, all right. So, on the basis of what you just told us, your confession, I'm going to immerse you. I'm going to put my nose, my hand in your nose, grab, grab my hand, okay? I'm going to immerse you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Ruch HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, buried with Him in immersion. Whoa! <laughs> and raised with the of life. Amen. face folks and tell us when did you accept Yeshua as your Messiah? Um, <coughs> Somewhere in June. In the morning when you felt you felt that God wanted to change you. Why did God need to change you? Because I wasn't you weren't really yeah, believing. I thought it was too amazing. You thought it was too amazing to be true. What was too amazing to be true? All the miracles. Right in the Bible. All the miracles. Okay. So you asked the Lord to come into your life? Yeah. And how long ago was that? Um, when I was six. When you were six. And how old are you now? Nine. You're nine. Okay. All right. Enough for grilling. We're going to immerse you. And grab. I'm going to grab your nose. And I'm going to immerse you based on your confession. I'm going to immerse you in the name of the Father, and the Son of the Ruch HaKodesh. Buried with Him in the immersion. Whoa! <laughs> Amen.
Why don't you tell the folks about how you accepted Yeshua as your Messiah? You just did a minute ago? When? Bellow so that and, uh, and I said, would you like to accept the Yeshua sacrifice for your sins because you realize you're not you're not perfect? And he said yes. And he prayed. That's when he was seven. And how old are you now? Great. Okay. If you folks didn't hear what Zach was saying, is that he that uh, Rabbi David told him ab about the fact that Yeshua uh, came for him and that. Uh, he was concerned because he knew he messes up, and so because of that, he wanted to accept Yeshua as his Messiah. Is that about right, Dad? Okay. Uh, enough questions for now. I'm going to grab you by the nose, and you grab my hands. Based on your confession of faith in Yeshua the Messiah, in Yeshua the Messiah, I immerse you in the name of the Father and the Son and Ruach Hakodesh. Buried with him in immersion, raised with him in Hallelujah. All right, Katrina, would you please come? Katrina, would you tell everybody so the grants and uh, the, everybody back there can hear uh, about how you accepted Yeshua as your Messiah? Okay. Well, honestly, I accepted the Lord as a child, really. I mean, I had a really strong prayer life, even as a kid. And then for many, many years, I lived outside of his camp. And... Um, so why don't you pause so I can translate for the folks living back there. Katrina said she accepted the Lord when she was very young, and she had a prayer life as a child, but for many, many years later, she didn't follow. Right. I didn't follow, and then, you know, I just came to a place in my life where it was really hard, and she was the only one reaching his hand to me. And that's kind of the way I accepted him. But I've never actually, you know, I was only baptized as a child, so here I am today. <laughs> okay. Why did you accept Yeshua? <laughs> For a lot of reasons. I mean, originally it was because he changed my life. Um, I could just see so many things that he did, and I just really started to see the truth of who he is. And, <coughs> It was just a, a big process, and knowing his perfection and knowing that I'm not perfect, all those things are just a lot to it, you know, really. But knowing that you know God is holy and I'm not, that's a big thing. <laughs> so. What Katrina was saying is that she came to a point in her life, a crisis, um, and she reached out to the Lord, and the Lord met her, and brought about changes and transformation and she recognized the Lord for who he is and, and that's how the Lord came into her life. Does that sound about right? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, let's then go ahead and turn around this way. Let's see, how are we going to do this? this way. Yeah. yeah, that way. Uh, on the left, uh, right or so. You can go on this yeah. side? Huh? No, we're, we're fine. Okay. Uh, 
Based on your confession of faith in Yeshua the Messiah, I hereby immerse you in the name of the Father and the Son and Ruach HaKodesh, buried with him into in immersion, raised in newness of life. Hallelujah. All right, Michelle, let's have you come next. <laughs> I know you've been looking forward and dreading it at the same time. <laughs> I gotta admit, this is kind of cool though, but I don't have to kneel since there's stairs. Mm. All right. Would you tell us something about how you accepted Yeshua as your Messiah? Why did you do that? Um... Oh, I don't know. I accepted the Lord many, many, many years ago. Um, I don't think I've ever completely, fully committed my life to the Lord like I should have. Um, it's been a rough couple years, as some of my family members know. But the Lord's gotten me through it. So this is my recommitment, I guess. Recommitment? To the Lord and to following the Lord. Uh, with qualifications? What do you mean? <laughs> you, a Jew answers a question with another question. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I initially accepted the Lord many years ago because I'd see friends like Lee who had peace in their life, and no matter what was going on, they were peaceful. And I thought, well, I want some of that. So then I started going to church with Lee 20 years ago or 15 years ago, and it was a very gradual process for me. It was not an overnight, aha, all of a sudden, praise Jesus. It was just very gradual. Okay. And so, I've been a believer ever since. Here I am. One more question, then I'll stop you. <laughs> when you say you commit yourself to the Lord... It means I want to follow the Lord till the day I die. Unconditionally. Unconditionally. All right, that's what and I was And very imperfect. <laughs> uh, if you reach perfection, then would you give us, give us a call? <laughs> sure. And we'll all come and uh, follow you. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab your nose. Please put your hand on my hands. Okay. Uh, upon your confession and your recommitment to follow Yeshua as your Messiah and Lord, we hereby immerse you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Ruach HaKodesh, buried with Him in immersion, raised with Him into newness of life. Hallelujah. Okay, last but not by no means least, Scott. Why don't you tell people how and why you accepted Yeshua as your Messiah? Well, um, I'd known Michelle, I've been talking to Michelle over the last uh, year or so, and I'd seen the peace that she had through all the difficulties she had been going through, and I kind of wanted that. And it finally came to me around 3.30 on November 11th of this past year, um, I was talking to her sister, Nicole, and I don't know exactly what Nicole said, and neither does Nicole, but it just kind of like, it was that aha moment, and, and that's when I decided to take Yeshua as my savior. Why? It just felt right. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, 
wanted that connection and that peace and the, the certainty. Okay. You, you accepted Yeshua as your savior unconditionally. Unconditionally. <laughs> uh, why do you feel you needed someone to be a savior? Well, I'm not perfect. Well, it's like we know. <laughs> um, and we all need some to save you from your sins. And myself. And yourself. All right. Thank you for questions. Uh, by the way, it's been delightful uh, to see the fruit of Scott's embrace of Yeshua as his Messiah and to see how he's been growing, like Scripture says, as new babies desire the milk of the Word, and that's what's been happening to him. Amen. He's been drinking it in and growing, and it's been absolutely delightful to be part of that. Okay. Upon your confession of faith in Yeshua as your Messiah and Lord, we hereby immerse you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Ruach HaKodesh, buried with Him in immersion, raised in the newness of life. Hallelujah. All right, uh, where is Michael? Sir, we want to worship the Lord. This is a wonderful occasion to stand with these guys, young and old, and cheer them on in their pursuit of their relationship with the Lord and in their pursuit of learning to follow Him into greater maturity in Him. So, Michael, would you lead us in...